Hello, welcome to another Contacts with Conway. Today I thought I'd show you a fairly simple method of assessing the height and clearance of a scleral lens upon insertion. Many practitioners operate and would like to fit scleral lenses without the use of an OCT. Today we'll be covering a slit lamp technique for assessing the height clearance on a scleral lens on eye using fluorescein. So we take our lens fill to overflowing with saline, take our fluorescein strip and introduce fluorescein into the bowl of the lens and we're ready to go. Okay, so we'll get you to lean forward about 45 degrees from the waist, that's good, chin down to your chest, pull your lower lid down with your middle finger, I'm going to lean over and Hold your top lid out of the way and here comes the lens. I'm going to rest on your hand and you'll feel the cold of the solution. Then a gentle press as the lens goes on. Put my hand away and the lens is in. Okay, the first check that we'll make is to, to have a, a, an overview of the lens to make sure there's no air bubbles and to have an assessment of the fit. So we'll take a UV light like so and we'll shine here. And we can see whilst there's no bubbles present, we can actually see there's very little central clearance over the centre of the lens. So in this case, the lens is probably too flat and we're going to select another lens which is slightly steeper. So we've changed the lens now, we've gone 250 microns higher and we can see now that there's fluorescein underneath the lens, no air bubbles, so we can proceed with the fitting. When we come to look at the patient under the slit lamp to establish the um, clearance, central clearance, um, we first of all need to set the slit lamp up. Um, we'll be viewing this time with white light, despite the presence of fluorescein, and we want the narrowest beam. The slit lamp also needs to be set at about 60 degrees from the light source. I also, at this stage, set the magnification down as low as possible until we're lined up. Okay, so we'll ask Sue to sit forward, drop your chin down onto the rest, forward against the top rest, move forward, and looking straight past me, and have a look. Okay, just checking that the magnification is on the lowest possible setting. Coming in to commence focusing. Uh, having got it in the best possible focus, I can then increase magnification and zoom in. Okay, we'll now look at the lens under the slit lamp, under white light. We can see the front surface of the lens glistening there. The lens thickness is 350 microns, which shows us that the tear layer stained green by the fluorescein is also approximately 350 microns. Just behind it, faintly, you can see the cornea, which is about 550 microns. So this is ideal. We're starting off with a tear film of 300, 350 microns which will decrease as the patient wears the lenses by approximately 100 microns. So at this point, um, we can see we've got adequate height and it's quite okay for the patient to commence wearing the lens. Another tip is that if you have difficulty viewing the front of the lens, look down, Sue, we can actually put some fluorescein, look straight ahead, just a white fluorescein strip on the front of the lens and then we can have a look under the slit lamp and we can see a fluorescein sandwich which will actually show the, uh, the lens in clearer detail. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you like what you've seen, then do remember to like, share and subscribe. If you have any tips or comments you'd like to share with us, then please leave those in the comments box below. Thank you.